If you're running more than one AdWords account, then I've got a free script today that automatically bids on your behalf and saves you a ton of time and energy having to manually bid yourself. Okay, so what's this script all about? Because Google's got smart bidding now, like Target CPA, uh, Target ROAS, and so on. Um, the thing is, Target CPA and the smart bidding used to be pretty awful back in the day. It's improved a lot, but it still relies on uh, accounts having a lot of data, a lot of conversion data. So if you're not getting at least two, three conversions per day per campaign, uh, we found that smart bidding really struggles. So this is a backup to that or you can use this purely uh, across your campaigns to control all your bidding so let me show you what it does essentially it allows you from a, sh a single sheet google doc to control every single account in your mcc um, and every single campaign you can be as granular as you like but there's essentially no limitation here so let me show you the the script so if you're not used a script before uh, it's quite simple what you do, you head over to your uh, MCC, you go onto Tools, you go onto All Bulk Actions, and then on the left hand side you have Scripts. Click the blue plus button, and I will just copy the script um, as Google decides to take ages to load. 100 megabit connection here. That'll do. So you literally paste it in here um, and the beauty about this script is there's one thing to change and it's this it's just the the actual uh, link to your um, to your Google Doc and I will share a copy of the the script in the link below if you're watching the video and a copy of this Google sheet as well so all you've got to do is literally copy paste um, and then you authorize this but I'm not going to do that now and then there is a control sheet which is literally this sheet so I will explain this in detail and just run you through what's going on here but the beauty is you can actually preview this script which will give you an output here in this log sheet um, so you can actually preview stuff before it runs you can also turn things on and off but let me show you so essentially that what this scripts doing it's checking every single day uh, for your um, min max bid adjustments your um, target against your accounts and campaigns so for example here you put your account ID in um, this is you know I put two in here as examples just to show you what's going on but you put your account ID here account name is for your reference of course and a manager email if you want to get reports from this um, each day and then run the script yes or no so you can literally put all the accounts down this column and you can have the account in there multiple times so I could have this account in here three times if I wanted because I wanted to run bid adjustments against three separate campaigns so let's assume that we've just got this one um, campaign I beg your pardon this one account and we are literally running it against everything so there's an uh, inclusion here and an exclusion so you can include just a campaign that's called I don't know yellow and what that would do is only run on campaigns that have yellow in their name so you don't have to put exclusions in um, or you may put for example brand exclusion in here and then it will run against all campaigns that don't have brand in them and then we've got a look back period so number of days all time or last number of months and here I've set it to the past 31 days you can do 60 days three months whatever um, suits your or this particular account that you're dealing with and then your targets are set here so your target CPA or your target ROAS um, obviously only set one so you either have a CPA whatever that may be um, or you know a target ROAS so five to one uh, that's pretty straightforward now so this literally this one line now would control this entire accounts bidding every single keyword uh, and if you run this script every single day which I recommend um, it would bid every single day to that target based on the min max bids you set here and then I'll run through the the segments here so 
what happens if let's say you've got uh, one campaign that's um, 50 quid or 50 euros dollars whatever target CPA but another one's 22 well it's pretty straightforward you would literally and by the way I've color coded this line just to make it easier to see um, you would replicate that uh, account again and then here you'd exclude the campaign that's so I don't know it's called red whatever uh, and this campaign is called yellow so that target CPA would only run against campaign yellow um, and I don't know why I put red and then yellow uh, sorry duh um, that makes more sense um, so you've got excluding against yellow so that would run against everything and that would only run against yellow and then you could set different you know bits here or whatever they may be um, you know if you notice that I always put a, a, a one so instead of two pound fifty or two dollars fifty on a bid I always put one and that's because of how ad rank works it puts an extra penny or cent on uh, the auction um, so I like to sort of try and game it and have another cent penny on the auction just if you if you have the same ad rank and um, or quality score and bid ad rank uh, as someone else then people are I'm going off script here but people no pun intended um, align to rounded numbers so two, 250, 225, 275 it's like a Fibonacci thing um, so I don't I like to be a uh, bit different anyway so you set your min and your max now this is important default min clicks so essentially this is your conversion rate so if your conversion rate is five across this or all these campaigns then you would set a minimum of 20 clicks so essentially 5% is 20 clicks and what that's telling the script to do is to wait till 20 clicks are accrued before it does a bid adjustment so it gives the uh, conversion a chance because if you're updating bids uh, prematurely it's just going to be aggressive uh, and essentially you're going to if you bid every single time um, there's a click well unless you get 100% conversion rate which you don't because no one does um, someone's going to put a comment in now saying 100% conversion rate we need to track the tracking probably then this is to stop that issue so this is where you may have more again more than one campaign uh, you may in fact you might have hundreds of uh, campaigns under this one account because they've all got different conversion rates um, what I would do is say it's 5% conversion rate so we've got 20 clicks 20 out of 100 I would do plus one all the time so it just gives it a little room for uh, a little wiggle room there and then again you know you can do as many as you want all your key campaigns 80 20 so put your top campaigns in here with their specific targets uh, CPAs ROAS min clicks based on their conversion rates min maxes if they're different um, and then we have the segment bidding so this essentially says you know what there's three states so there's neutral so we are on target so essentially are we hitting this target or this target whichever one you've set how far away are we are we so you've got three steps negative three steps positive so here I've got 9% but it could be 10 it could be 15 25 percent this could be 10 15 25 percent so what that's saying is if the target is within 0 to 10 percent or 0 sorry 0 to minus 10 percent of the target we don't make any bid adjustments if we are 10 percent ahead of target so we are beating this so we're our target CPA here is 50 so we're hitting 45 or a bit under so we're good then use this bid adjustment here so these correct this um, ahead behind segment corresponds to the bid adjustment here so what that's saying is if we're ahead then we're gonna bid up 2% here and you again you can change these to whatever you want 1% you can be cautious you know 2% 3% you can be really aggressive 10 20 30% bid adjustments you can mismatch so they're not uh, you know so they're asymmetrical so you can be heavy bid uh, bidding up or, or um, heavy bidding down with just you know nibbling the bid adjustments up but really aggressive bid down if you so wish um, so if we're 10% 
we'd bid up 1%. If we're 15% ahead of target, we'd bid up 2% and so on and so forth. And that works, uh, you know, in the, in the opposite direction. So essentially it's a bid management script that helps balance the bids against your targets uh, per campaign if you want, or it's just account wide against a time period and it sets a min max um, bid. You can pretty much do most of this kind of with automated rules within AdWords, but it would be a lot of work. Now imagine if you've got 20 accounts to manage and I don't know, you split out each account by five, 10, 20 campaigns. You're going to have a hundred rows in this spreadsheet, if not more. But once you've done it, it's set and forget. And then you can just make minor tweaks as you go. And then finally, on the right hand side, um, I've run a preview um, this morning. So it does a log sheet. And the log sheet is really helpful because it gives you a date, campaign, ad group, keyword, match type, cost, etc. So it gives you all your metrics and then it gives you your target. So what the current um, CPA is, is the target here. It's not using ROAS. The previous bid, the new bid and the change. So it logs everything for you. Um, and if you really wanted to, you could chart this and this and the other or do... Um, trend lines, that sort of thing, probably a bit over the top because you've got a log here for reference. And of course, if you ran the preview mode, it wouldn't make these changes, but it would document what it would do for you, um, which is a good idea to test that. And then it obviously logs last ex execution and the number of changes and turn the script on and off here if you wanted to do some bug testing or whatever, um, or just experiment. And that's the thing, you could run a, a you know an experiment here. So if you called your, you know, if you don't trust this script or you just want to try it out, you could literally call, um, create an experiment of a campaign and put EXP in the name, for example, and then you've got campaign uh, contains and it will only run against that experiment that's got EXP in its title. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, run this daily as well you know every morning between six or seven in the morning is probably best because then it allows yesterday's data to catch up uh, and this will literally run seven days a week for you across every single account uh, in your MCC every single campaign if you want to be really granular and it works you know it keeps the it keeps the bids nice and consistent controls your CPC it's not it doesn't mean you don't ha ever have to do any work of course but it it does 95 percent of the bid management for you when you can't use smart bidding so this is a super powerful script could save you a shed load of time especially if you work at an agency or with multiple accounts it's not really appropriate for single accounts really um it would mean creating an mcc to run your single account under a couple of caveats so uh, yeah, one thing I would probably do is keywords ebb and flow. So keywords will perform and underperform, overperform, be neutral week in, week out. And a really good keyword this week may not be a great keyword next week. Just the ebb and flow. And, and with any bid management, your your keywords can drop off the first page, and that can cause you to spend less and get less conversions as a result. So that is one negative to any kind of uh, bid management or keyword bid management. So there's a couple of uh, automated rules you can run, which I should probably show you to make life e easier. Um, okay, so to safeguard against um, keywords falling off the, the first page because the bids have reduced so much, you can create a simple automated rule. Again, we're in bulk actions and rules. Create a new rule. Uh, this is a change keyword bids, all enable keywords, increase bids, and then by percentage. Now, I've done 15% here as an example. 5-10% um, might be not enough because this is when keywords drop off the first page. So 15, 20, 25% of a push uh, with an upper limit that uh, is comfortable. And the simple condition of... Um, status below first page bid, frequency once a week for a busy account, um, bi-weekly would be ideal, but unfortunately you don't get the option. Um, so monthly for uh, less busy accounts, looking at the previous seven days data. So essentially what this is doing is this safeguarding us against losing lots of keywords off the first page and 
um, also, you know, when you have ebb and flow, so this is seven days, so this would be a very fast account, i.e. lots of clicks, lots of spend, where keyword bidding can push keywords off the first page quite, quite easily and quickly. Most other accounts could probably go based on a monthly and a frequency, or, uh, yeah, frequency of a month and then previous 30 days data. So this pushes keywords back up and of course um, will make them spend again. So, but if they're weak, you might want to then also create another automated rule that looks at um, pausing a keyword when it's above your target CPA. So you've then got automated bidding using the script, automated pushing back to the top to give it another chance if it's a keyword you care about like we've got on the screen here. And then finally and thirdly, another automated rule to say, well, if it's over my target CPA or target ROAS uh, based on the past 30 days data or however long, um, I want it pausing. Um, but again, another caveat with using anything around pausing based on a target give it wiggle room 50 hundred percent over your target cpa so it gives it a chance to go with the ebb and flow but if it does keep pushing you know 100 percent beyond your target the keyword gets paused and then this is where the human interaction comes in because each month you should review what's been paused and, and what's been tweaked uh, to make sure they're not keywords that are important or more frequently to be honest with you because uh, different times in the year different keywords can perform and underperform uh, ebb and flow as things do in an AdWords account. It's not all automated and uh, a free lunch. So hopefully you found that really useful. Hopefully you're going to put that script to good use in your MCC and to manage all your accounts. It should save you a lot of time if you can't rely on smart bidding. And even if you do rely on smart bidding, you could even try it in an experiment against it. So please, if you enjoyed this, do leave a like. It helps the video. Uh, do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And also, please drop a comment if you have any questions or just some feedback, really, if you're going to use it. If you do use it in the future, drop some comments in here. And I just realized at the start of the video, I didn't even introduce myself. So you, if you don't know who I am, which is probable, um, you're thinking, who the fuck is this guy with his specs on? I'm Ed Leak, and I'm from Adevolver, and thank you for watching this video. Until next time, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side. Or something like that. Cheers.